In this video, we're going to talk about how to use Microsoft SQL Server reporting services to create a drill down report to extract some information from the Wonderware database, from the Wonderware historian. In a previous video, we talked about how we're inserting this data into the database. This video, we're going to talk about how we're extracting information using SRS. So if we generate another test signal here, I'm going to put in a new serial number to generate a test. And I'm going to start this test. And what this is doing, it's taking some information, simulating a test, putting some data into the Wonderware historian. It's also keeping track of this serial number, keeping track of the test stand location, and some other parameters as far as the start time and the end time of the test. So now we're going to stop the test, which is going to put a timestamp on the end of the test so it knows what time the test ended. So when we do a query, it's going to query all the data during the time the actual test was running. So let's take a look at an example report, a drill down report. It's going to use to collect the test data that we just collected. So if I go to my report server on my local machine, I'm going to pull up the SRS report page. If I click on my report, it's going to pull the report. It's going to go extract the information for all the tests that have been run recently that are stored in my database. If you remember that last test we run was run on test station number three and the serial number was 4321. So that was the last test that we just ran. So I can drill down and see more information about that report. So I can click on this serial number. It's going to go extract that information from the database. Pull, well, there's all the information as far as my flows, my pressures, my temperatures, the timestamp of those variables. So an example of this drill down report, the ability to go see all the information I have in my database as far as all my tests, and I'm going to drill down further and extract some information from the Wonderware historian. So if I want to drill down into some of the other tests I've run, if I want to go to test station number one and look at this report, there's the information regarding that report and all the process data that was collecting during the time this report was run. So we're inside a Visual Studio Report Builder. Basically, we're looking at that first report that called up that pulled all the test information from the database. So I'm going to pull the test ID, the serial number, the station, start time, end time. So basically, it's looking at this data set number one, and it's executing this query. So it's going to pull all information from this table we have in our database called teletest, all parameters. So the way we drill down into the more detailed report, we're going to choose this serial number here. When we choose this serial number, we pick a variable from the actual dropdown. It's going to call the other report. The way this is done, if I look at this text box property here and I go to action, we have this thing that says go to report. This is the other report it's going to go to. It's going to pass in that parameter called the test ID. So the test ID is going to be used in the next report to go extract information from the Wonderware historian. So now we're looking at the detailed report. One of the things we're going to do, we're going to put some header information on top of the report. We're going to repeat the test ID, the serial number, the test station, start and end time. That information is coming from data set number two. So that's just going to execute a query from that table. But uh, we're just going to put a caveat on there. We're going to put a filter on there that's just going to go filter the test ID based on the test ID that was selected the previous report. So that's how we only display the information for that one report parameter. So this section of the report is going to be used to actually extract the information, the process data, the, the flows, the pressures, the temperatures from the Wonderware historian. This is using data set number one. So when data set number one fires, it's actually going to execute a store procedure called telehistory. It's going to pass in that serial number so the store procedure knows what data to extract from the database. And it's going to extract that flow, pressure, and temperature from that store procedure and display it on the report. So this is the store procedure that we're calling from the SRS report to go extract the information from the Wonderware database. We're passing in from the report this test ID. The test ID is going to be used to go look up the start time and the end time of the test. It's going to be used to fill in the actual process variables, the names of the tag we're going to be extracting from the Wonderware database because we have multiple test stands. We want to pick the correct tags depending on which stand we're on doing a little conversion here of the date timestamp. And then this is the actual select statement. We're going to pull the information from the wide history table. We're going to select the flow, the pressure, and the temperature. 
based on these start and end times. And then we're actually going to execute the query. So this is the query that's being executed via the stored procedure. So let's do that one more time at runtime now that you've seen behind the scenes. If I drill down into my report, it's going to go extract the information from my test database. Then I go and drill down into the actual one of the serial numbers to see some more details about that. So you can see the example drill down report. It's going to go extract the information, the process data from the Wonderware historian while repeating the overview information at the top of the screen. So this is just a little test scenario that we put together to show you that we can store information about a specific batch or a specific test station or a specific test ID and then easily go extract that information from the Wonderware historian and pull the process data back. Thank you for watching today. Need to learn more about this and other InSource products? Check out our training tracks designed to guide you down your learning path for InSource products. Whether you're using a classic InTouch and Historian architecture or using System Platform, we have a track to help you get the most out of your software investment. To register or learn more, click the link in the video description below. Thanks for watching this InSource video.